Okay, hi guys, this is Kim. I am here to do a reading and I will put the time that the reading actually starts. This first part is something that is a little bit new, is something that I'm going to try to incorporate every now and then, um, is some creative channeling. And um, so this stuff is, it's really about being vulnerable and sharing my healing my healing experience uh, with everyone. So the messages like um, that I get are, I assume, from my higher self. The so this is creative channeling, and hopefully you get something um, from the channel messages too. Okay, and I will get better at presenting it too. So this just came as an idea. So I'm gonna read, um, I'm going to read it kind of, okay, so the first part was, um, what if you knew that there was no energy to save or no energy to hold on to? What if you knew there was nothing to lose? What if you knew this energy was always here? It was here for all eternity. Um, you, human, are witnessing the matter Currently, the stuff that really matters in the created, it's only created in this now moment. This is all the stuff that literally matters. And I feel like there's some kind of, by the way, some kind of key to that too. But, okay, so, so then I have, we are part <clears throat> of that energy constantly pulling on the past and future ethers while constructing and reconstructing in this now moment. Um, what literally matters is always changing. Um, we like this, we like everything to be now because truly that is our energy state of being. And, um, and then here was like my main advice from my higher self was, Change is needed to break some of um, unhealthy patterns. Um, something as small, such as picking up uh, different songs to play during the day, can have a very big effect on what you create. And then it goes on saying um, these changes, part of them that would be really important would be more silence. Um, more times for silence allows for you to get in tune with your actual vibration and be able to separate it from, okay, this is mine, this is external, kind of, because the energy is always moving back and forth. It just makes you very aware. Then you, then ultimately you know if you need to raise your vibration up or if there's something that, that is around that is, caused, is a cause for um, any kind of low vibration. So... <clears throat> Um, I said the energy that you feel is constantly moving. However, please not to judge this energy as good or bad. Um, remember that this is a human perspective and that we all know by now there's no one right or correct way. Um, it's more like I can't have one without the other. Um, in this sense, this is this per perspective of duality. It's al allowing for choices and it's allowing for changes to appear like they are separate or going in some kind of order. Um, but what if there were no lists? What if there was no ranking? What if there was nothing above or under? It's hard, but it's uh, interesting to take that perspective outside of the human being and imagine, could you imagine from a different conscious, from a different perspective, not a different consciousness. But anyway, okay, I will, I will digress. But I have that we are not separate. We are all one in the same part as the whole, and we're always complete. Things are seemingly separate from that human perspective. So try thinking here, like I said, of the perspective that's um, not filtered through our human brains. What would that look like? What would um, the non-duality be? <clears throat> um, I have that the mind, the mind allows us to alter the matter in this now moment 
and that is where the matter exists. And and I'm thinking past, present, future in a sense. So I have um, remember here too when you're dealing with these emotions that um, the not to judge part, and then the the part that they are all all your emotions are uh, part of your divine design, equally important, completing an experience. Um, so when you sit in silence, these emotions, especially for the first few times of doing it, can be really overwhelming, uh, especially if you avoid feeling things or keep stuff bottled up inside. The energy has to go somewhere and um, that's where, it, if, it, if it doesn't get released, it can even manifest as a physical symptom. A lot of us have um, stomach issues and, and or pains um, that we feel due to like um, this energy. So uh, when you feel down, when you feel low down or stuck in a rut, that's when change is crucial. That's when contracts change, characters change. Even settings tend to change. The divine plan is altered in a very sacred way. Free will. Uh, because of this free will, duality can exist. And it appears with these choices. <clears throat> and as you know, choices resemble change. And change is what is needed to break some patterns. Um, to, so, let's see. Then, what else do I have? Okay. I think, I think that might be it. Okay, so from the human perspective, uh, the non-duality. Okay, duality allows your experience to um, seem separate. Yeah, though we are not actually separate. Um, from this one non-duality, it is one of the most all-inclusive theories that um, very few people understand or from the human perspective is hard to understand um, because the whole experience is about separate. So seemingly separate is for experience's sake. What I do, I do for your for the sake of you and vice versa. Whatever you do, you're doing here for the sake of me. We are all actually living for one another um, every day that we like exist. So that's... Um, I just got to take one grain of sand away from this like picture and everything would dissolve. So in that sense, like it's just saying how important it is um, for us to have each other. Okay. And, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, that was like eight minutes. That's kind of long. But, but I mean, the main point was to um, to kind of explain or rationalize to myself the, the need for change. Um, being vulnerable, allowing change to come in, and viewing those very small things every day as huge, important steps um, from our perspective. Uh, to get everything else to start changing and that is the channeled message so I hope you like that I know that was a little bit long but um <clears throat> and I might start making just separate videos of these and this only so that's what I've got though um so here for your reading without further ado hi there sign of Scorpio this is Kim with your next 48 hour reading this is gonna be um a reading to focus on a breakthrough from whatever pattern it is that decides to pop up for us to take a look at. So the first card I'm pulling from right now though is the Spirit Animal Oracle and hopefully this kind of gives us that energy for the whole reading. I hope. I hope. Okay, so Scorpios, we're opening up to your spirit team, your angels, your spirit guides. So these messages are for your highest good. I think this one wants to come out. Okay, and I'm sorry about the um, really bad job I did with my Band-Aid there, but Electric Eel Spirit 24, bring your ideas to life. Bring your ideas to life 24. So what is it? What is it? Hmm. What idea is it? <clears throat> Another... 
Look, something to do with the water, too. Um, maybe vacation or something like that with water. I feel like this is another message for you, Scorpio, that you're going to, like, flow easily around um, problems and obstacles, just like it's water, just like these uh, spirit animals have for you. So 20 dolphin spirit, this and that are true. A really playful um, kind of energy. That always reminds me of um, hermetics. It just always reminds me of hermetics. <laughs> like a little bit of, like there's a little bit of truth in this. There's, you know, so I don't know. I'm getting the sense that you just have to watch what you're um, put, placing your belief in. Okay. So, Electric Ill Spirit, bring your ideas to life, Scorpios. Scorpios, this is the Kipper deck, and it is blended with Osho Zen Tarot. So, it gives an interesting, an interesting reading, trust me. It gives an interesting reading. Okay, so the first spot, it's supposed to be Breakthrough Pyramid, but I think I'm just going to lay the cards out so that we can get as many messages here as possible we've got enough space so <clears throat> for scorpio give us um give us something on on what their pattern is um that we're going to take a look at today so the pattern that scorpio runs into that we're going to take a look at today tell us about this pattern tell us about this pattern gift in the reverse Give me another one for the pattern. That's a little vague. <laughs> That's a little vague. Oh, the Empress. What to do? Ooh, which is about creating, which is, you know, already tying into this electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. So, wow. It's almost like there's an idea that's given to you through this Empress spirit that you can embody if you want. And it's going, you're going without using it. So I get, I mean, the, the message come to me is like you're walking through life and, and life has given you, or your angels, your spirit team, your higher self has said, hey, you're good. You've got an idea right now that can be big. And again, notice the water here. Um, so you have an idea that could be really big. Um, it is a gift. This energy is a gift and it's not being used. And that's, um, that's what the main message is. So having a gift or an idea, but just not acting on it all the way. That's what it, that's what it kind of feels like. Like not acting on it all the way. Okay. So that's that pattern part. Tell me about the challenge then. What is the challenge for Scorpio when it comes to, look at that. It's, I don't know why it's flipped, but courtship it's wanting to come out we'll put it back reshuffle didn't see that one before um the empress energy by the way anything that empress energy touches uh turns to gold she births many things into life tell me about the um challenge here for scorpio please tell me about the challenge for scorpio Ooh. You see the um, the color in the pathway. It's very it's similar to the color right here that's in the Empress energy, and it's trying to say with that connection that there is a pathway that you have with this Empress energy that you haven't found, or like I said, a gift you haven't tapped into yet, a pathway that you haven't found yet. Whoa, <laughs> eighteen child could be something new too i mean it could be something that's like brand new this could be a challenging energy though anyway um just challenging for whatever that so it could be about a mother relationship being challenged it can be also uh for some it can be about the challenge of taking care of family and kids and still being able to find and utilize your empress pathway for other things such as business 
I feel like there's a, a blending coming in of these, of these things. Tell me about the breakthrough. What's the breakthrough here for Scorpio? What's the breakthrough going to be for my lovely Scorpios? And of course, if you're a, a male who is the main uh, taker, uh, child provider, take your care, whatever, then this could be your energy too about, you know, um, being, wanting to start something, but, but needing to know how, needing to find this pathway. So let's really take a good look at the breakthrough cards that come out for you. Breakthrough cards coming out for Scorpios. Oh, wow. Really? Heck, you're freeing yourself. This imprisonment card here is like the Eight of Swords to me um, could because it can be like feeling really restricted. Like, like I said, like the example of having to stay home, take care of kids or a child and then also wanting to bring some ideas to life. Okay, so something's going to free you from whatever you felt was a really strong restriction to you or make you feel imprisoned. And here is your breakthrough. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so whatever this Empress energy is, is here to create, the pathway is going to allow you to earn some unexpected income. Number 27, unexpected income is part of your breakthrough. So you'll have some funds that come up, that pop up, that help you um, with this pathway. You also have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and I love it. In the Osho Zen Tarot, it's very much so focused on how there is a rebirth of uh, a person, and it's it's such a rebirth, such a powerful rebirth that it goes from one form and changes into a completely different form. Here you have going from a camel to a lion, and then a person playing a flute. But um, you know, it, it can be any. So something is going to change forms, and I'm thinking that this is because there's going to be an advantage with money changing hands. <laughs> All right, looking good so far, looking good so far. Now, the Ten of Swords is not an easy transformation or breakthrough. It's completely having to think out of the box, away from anything that has ever kind of let you down in the past. So away from all obtrusive thoughts, um, starting, like having a fresh slate for yourself, allowing yourself to be complete, to completely reinvent whether it's work, whether it's home, whether it's the combination of the two that you're trying to reinvent. Like, it's something like that. <clears throat> yeah, it's something like that. I think that's beautiful. So, your power. Give me cards to represent Scorpio's powers. Ooh. Maybe you're wanting a house. And maybe you were having some financial difficulties at the time. It would make sense with that unexpected income being your breakthrough if this is a problem here. So it might be about housing, about finding appropriate house or more space to do what you want to do. Maybe, like I'm even, even I'm getting even, um, ne like needing a house, but having these issues with money and, and there is a pathway. One of your ideas going to totally reinvent how things are done this to me says well let's get another let's get some more cards because this to me says that your power is your experience is what you've been through um going from rags to riches might be your power you know what i mean like there's something that you're pulling on this experience where you can be extremely successful do you see the colors too here coming out very similar um that's not, none of that is, um, none of these colors here are here by coincidence. This is, this is for you. This is your message. There's a rebirth regarding, uh, money, regarding feeling impoverished or like there's not ever enough. There's something that's going to fix all that and provide house, house or a house. Oh, yeah. So coming from this place is, is what you're needing, actually, for your breakthrough. You wouldn't have had this idea if you hadn't have been in the place 
where that state of mind brought that idea. And and this right here is it. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. This is saying that, yeah, it sucks. It sucks getting to this point sucked. And um, perspective is, this is when I was down. Okay, we'll pull on that. Don't constantly think about what you don't have, but pull on the ingenious, clever things uh, that one has to do. You know what I mean? In that position. So give me something else. Another three. Three, three now. So 33. You're reading that number follows us on this channel. Um, we have the three of pentacles working together, cooperating with others because it's like a to help survive literally to for people to help that's what's being revealed is um wow all of this um trauma pain poverty or going through health scares like you couldn't get what's being revealed is is needing one another there we go <laughs> needing one another um because we do it by essence need one another so therefore when an experience so strong comes at you and it's like, yeah, wait, I need this person to get out of this time or whatever. Um, that's big. So this is laying down the groundwork. And this right here was laying down the groundwork for some kind of great idea. So tell me about the outcome for Scorpio. Oh, wow. You're going to create and you're going to be very, very, very successful in the distant horizons. You have to power through what you're going through. I don't know if you haven't gotten that idea yet or what it is, but there's something in the not so distant. So this is like your ships coming in and the not so distant horizons. It's a very good card to get. Um, it's almost like something is gonna feel like it's, it went from hard to now I'm in the sky. <laughs> now I'm in the sky in my ship, you know? Um, tell me some advice for Scorpios. Tell me some advice for Scorpios. Probably going to leave it with that. Oh, wow. Wealthy man. Somebody wants to invest in you. Woohoo. Somebody wants to invest in you. This could, I, wow. This could be the marking the end of a situation and the beginning of um, a soulmate energy coming into your life. Could start off as business and then go into, um, an actual relationship, but something here, someone here wants to really help you out. Wow. And that's what I got for your reading, guys. It's a beautiful reading. I'm not going to go any further when it's really not needed. Um, as far as this goes, this is clear cut. Something ends, something begins. <laughs> you know, marking the ending of possibly marking the ending of worrying about housing or worrying about food or health or there's something about that it's like all these things they're going to be taken care of they're going to be taken care of all right so that's what i got for you scorpios sending you much love and light if you want a private reading those are open check out my description box below for that information and i'm sending you much love and light for your day Bye bye